What? Are you kidding me? Not again. Comcast? I'm, oh my gosh. I cannot believe it again. Six times in this month. You ever had that happen to you? Where your cable provider or your internet provider is constantly going down? Well, that was my January. So instead of just complaining about it, I basically decided, okay, I just need to prepare for it. I need to prepare for outages. And generally we don't prepare for outages because most of the time, most people I know their internet just works and it does usually, um, but we definitely run into some bad strings. So what I came up with um, as far as how to get my rigs back up and running, um, hopefully you'll be able to use some of these things uh, for you. But first thing you're obviously thinking, oh yeah, of course, you know, basically you use your, your phone. Um, basically just use your Wi-Fi on your phone and you can get anything that's hooked up via Wi-Fi um, back up and running. But most people's uh, or many people's rigs are not on Wi-Fi. Um, they have them hooked up directly through a router, a switch, or something like that. So there's a couple other things you can do depending on how many rigs you have. Um, you could just use a simple, you know, Wi-Fi uh, USB antenna um, to hook up to your, hopefully hook up to your Wi-Fi, um, uh, hook up to your, your internet Wi-Fi that you probably have running throughout your house. Um, I do that on one of my rigs because um, that one normally is hooked in through a Wi-Fi extender and that actually leads into my next suggestion, which is having a spare Wi-Fi uh, extender. Sorry, I got a voice, so it's kind of got the blur. But anyway, this is a Wi-Fi extender. This one happens to be a TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. Um, and what I did with this was the one rig that I have um, running uh, directly connected to the router, um, I actually instead of having it hooked up through the router, I hook it directly to this Wi-Fi extender. So the Wi-Fi extender I then have hooked up directly to my phone's Wi-Fi instead of my house's Wi-Fi. Um, in fact, because it's dual, uh, dual frequency, I basically, the, the five gig runs really well throughout my home. It's the 2.4 that runs really poorly through my home. And I actually got these Wi-Fi extenders for, um, uh, the Tekken switches that I have uh, measuring power for the different rigs I've got and for other switches throughout the house. Um, so that's the main reason why I got these Wi-Fi um, uh, extenders was so that these Tekken switches would stay connected to the network because they were they were breaking down. Anyway, long story short, I had an extra one um, that I wasn't using. So with the last time the internet went down, um, basically ran downstairs to the one I have in the basement, hooked up this to that, got that one up and running. My main computer that I'm actually going off of right now that has uh, 3360s in it, um, this one's already hooked up via Wi-Fi, so I was able to get that one hooked up right away. So my main, which has about half my hashing power that's directly connected, um, that was the main one that I couldn't get back up and running. So I, like I said, I hooked up the Wi-Fi extender um, to the phone so that those were connected. And then in this Wi-Fi extender is an Ethernet plug. So you just plug that directly into your rig and you now have Ethernet. And since this is not high bandwidth, it's just mining, um, certainly wasn't going to be uh, doing videos or anything like that um, while it was on the hotspot, but um, um, it really doesn't cost a heck of a lot. I have it included. I think I have like two and a half gig, I think included in my plan of hotspot. I used it for like four hours. I didn't actually go back and look um, after the full four hours, but it really wasn't much uh, data. It really was in no jeopardy of, of going beyond that for the short period of time uh, that I needed to use it for on that particular outage that I had. Um, so for other people that might have a network switch, um, you can, again, do the same thing, but instead of hooking this directly, this ethernet directly into a rig, hook it directly into your switch and then, uh, but into the network port. I'm not, I don't have a switch, but I've used them in the past. I just haven't used them recently. So I'm not sure, but there's a, basically just make sure that this is hooked in where your, 
where you're um, uh, just basically hooked into one of the ports and it should distribute the, the um, internet to the rest of uh, the devices that are connected up to that switch. Uh, so anyway, they're relatively cheap. I think this one was like $25, wasn't really that much. Um, so really, really cheap insurance. Um, getting the hotspot on your plan is, is relatively cheap. I have Verizon. Um, so it, again, it worked really, really well and um, uh, saved me a lot of, well, I was able to continue to make money, you know, whatever it was, like five bucks an hour or whatever it was. But uh, at any rate, just thought I would share this uh, for anybody that might have, have run into something similar. So um, again, Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone and then Ethernet extender, um, no, sorry, Wi-Fi extender with an Ethernet port that comes on it. Again, this happens to be a TP-Link version. And then uh, very simple solution with the Wi-Fi is uh, just having a USB plug with an antenna on top of it, basically this thing like that. So anyway, hope this helps somebody and uh, have a good night.